welcome to the first episode of the Scandal Podcast that is brought to you by Scandal Pictures in partnership with SKM by Carol. My name is Washington Swade, aka Uma Rasta. I know people have been trying to that five podcast, but we are back and it's back bigger and better. So just like what I said, uh, it's the first episode in 2023, but this year we are turning our first anniversary. Uh, so it was also I said last year, this time around, I think it was in January. So yeah, uh, January 2022, it's Kuluman in But uh, good things last year, right? So we are back and uh, thank you so much for all of you who have been supporting us and subscribe and like and like and comment and about just continue to do so in this year of 2023. So our first topic of the year is a very interesting one. I know the 2023 Castle Soccer League a season is uh, going to kickstart uh, somewhere in March, the Abagas Day, but uh, so clubs have been busy. La pani mani tava ni baawo da la pana. Eh, zia o da. Eh, jana jana ni anga de. Eh, o da o da. Sans o da. Yemba o o da ba isa o ina. Eni maso sitia zine. Eh, eh ni sito be one or two. Eh, ni zile la. Eh, patisila chigele la pani mani tava. So wait to see. Ah, uh, whether. The cats uh, that have managed to beef up their squads, they are going to do well uh, in the Castle Laka Premier Soccer League season. Remember, the defending champions are FC Platinum who have won the league uh, for four times in a row. I wonder. One, two, three, four. Uh, four. Uh, four. Yes, yes, if you like. I hope. So wait to see whether FC Platinum will be able to defend uh, their league title. So FC Platinum were in Mulawai for now, for going to do uh, for their present pre-season uh, training at the ZITF ground. And we did manage to attend one of their press conferences. And uh, this is what the coach, Nomen Nomara Mapeza, had to say in regards to that 2023 season preparations. Guys, you know, it's, uh, it's those guys that I, I've, been, I've, I've been following their, 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 their performance this last season, and I thought if I'm gonna uh, bring them here, they bring an, a, a, a different dimension to the squad. We brought in uh, Michel Gwena from uh, from from Triangle, He's someone who plays on the left, uh, on the left, as a left back, he can also play the centre back. Then uh, we brought in uh, Sulemani. Someone who can play as a centre forward because they want to play the left or right on the wings. Then we've got perfect training, obviously, everybody knows about perfect. And he was, up, he was with us before, but he's also someone with a lot of experience, and I'm sure he will give a lot of guidance to the youngsters who have fun. Guys like Dando, you know, just, they need someone who can, who can get them. Who can get them, you know, at, at the last season, you needed someone. Discipline So that was a uh, no matter my piece that they are sharing his sentiments uh, in regards to the 2023 season preparation. Uh, FC Platinum have managed to add three new names into the team already. We know which FC Platinum last year season, last year, you know, my peers are running. And then, uh, thought would maybe uh, that could see the downfall of the Platinum Miners. But surprisingly, I love you, Mazi Pula. Mazi Pula, yes, in this whole case, that's what I said. So FC Platinum coach reckoning uh, that uh, put it discipline there at work as the recipe behind the success of FC. So no go to the day FC team or what what I would have stored. So wait to see whether uh, the FC Platinum 
uh, is going to continue from where they left. Remember, their first match of the season is going to be the Tony Caspi Super Cup, uh, where they are going to be playing Yanni and I of Asia, but I don't want to but as as we go up and was a pattern and that was uh, FC Platinum will be playing Plawai Chiefs, uh, Amakos, Aman, uh, the Twitter boys. Uh, the Twitter boys they've recruited a uh, easy uh, Swiss. Uh, we were three players for the FC Platinum. That is a uh, talent vision. So this uh, says they will be facing his former boss or his former playmasters in FC Platinum. Back up, and they have to tell us if PSL which is another name, so it's going to be an interesting match. So that should be uh, the season's opener. So, the Pana Java and China have been busy watering, so we just going to take a look at uh, the movement and uh, in terms of uh, the players, uh, which players have moved from team A to team B as a person in Dynamo Stimari. I don't know, I am a good Remember, coach Tony Ryan Dirai was shown the door. Uh, shown the door, but he is finding a new home in Singapore. And I like, I don't figure what I saw the size of Puma. So, Dynamo's good for Gab. Uh, one of the uh, biggest teams in the country, uh, they've been watering and buying, buying players, buying the Jenny Chills. Dynamos in Chelsea, but I, I see. Uh, so Dynamos have uh, managed to bring in Elvis and Kelvin Moy uh, from uh, Lawai Chiefs. Uh, the twins are uh, also Ata Musiwa uh, joining Dynamos uh, from E. Lawai Chiefs. I love Chiefs. I love Chiefs. I love Chiefs. I love Chiefs. So they've also managed to add uh, Donald Mudadi, Tanaka Shandiro, Jaden Bakari. Okay, what a lady wow. We are going to but in Tangani is now in the books of Dynamos. They've also added to Ten Bangamba, the protocol son. He's back. Combined with Timbari. Hey, I can't wait to see him come back. I just said, BF. Timbari is a little boss. I remember the last game that he played for Dynamos, BF Laman. Ah, so it was interesting. Sitting at Bamba, who can you So wait to see whether Ten Bangamba is going to revive his career at Dynamos. They've also added a Nyasha Chintuli, who has now at Manika Diamonds. Good striker was scoring for fun. I'm sure he finished with the six goals or so last season. And uh, they've also added Congolese striker Eli Ilunga uh, from a play right now. So I say Dynamos, I put it, you put it, they are ready for the for this season, they want to go for the big one. The other team that has been busy in the market is a Caps United Football Club. Caps United Football Club, they've already assigned Adrian Silla. Uh, but he's focused. But where is Coco to go ahead and uh, Adrian Silla being shown to change the series? Remember, he signed the contract with the Islanders that was supposed to expire in 2025. But yeah, but to go to so I think that's the case. Remember, Billy, the team said that the Mafia is once gone, they come back to post. Who Josta is there? So, see, that's the same. I don't know who Josta is there. The other addition has been the Kevin okay, Matongi, the main one was playing for FC Platinum, moved to surprisingly moved to Plawai Chiefs uh, last season, but he is in just Kamba and Wushengenda. Yeah, so we say Conan. But I was with the kids here, but I don't know. Yeah, my team is really now. But I'm ready to story for another day. So, I think the football club, they also, they also, they chill us. Eh, like, eh, don't be here. Mm, they've added to Melikaya. Eh, Melikaya was playing for E. Bulawai City. He was the captain for Bulawai City. An interest, interesting player. A eh, exciting midfielder. I remember watching him in the 2019 season of the Zifa Southern Region. Remember one of his goals, uh, he scored uh, a beauty uh, just outside the box when Plawai City uh, played uh, in television in the stadium. So he is one of the editions, a D Islanders, possible. So they've also recalled a uh, reward to Moza Lapana from me Plawai City. Maybe Plawai City by the game is the Lapana is going. So reward is back at Islanders. They've also added Kevin Chikonero uh, from me television. Uh, the main was scoring for fun in the Zifa Southern region to try and beef up 
uh, this one. Uh, in the process, they've lost Uko Sizaku. Yes, you want to die, but Uko is very happy. In a good way, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go so Zaku has gone. Asila, just like what you mentioned, is another player that just gone. Another interesting player that left Islanders is vice captain Ngozi Tamaso. Maso left for Ipo, Tswana, and Sensi, Ipo, Nagoda, Nuko. As I said, that's a long Sendami. Sendami is sitting in permanent move. La Manu, Tui, Shualang, Galaxy. So it also they've also released the uh, most of the I mean, uh, total banda is also another player that is born. Uh, there is uncertainty over what divine media. So we to see whether Midirila is going to be playing for e Highlanders who become. So that's what has been happening uh as they try to beef up the squad to try and challenge for honors. So whether this time around it also will bring that uh, 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, I think it was in 20. Konale Konale is a stinger, a patuana, a tenamos now. They will seek to win the league. I keep keeps like Yaza, Maza, Manabana. Remember, they almost won it two seasons back, but I actually planned to have a child at a bar. So keeps like it. Other teams that they've been busy, chicken in, they've only. I know of one player that they've hated a who come English brown and with it. Uh, so, so with the key one apart. Also, there have been movements, uh, chicken in, uh, some changes rather in the technical department. Prince Matore uh, is now the main who is in charge. He uh, has no anti-pass. Anti-pass is no advice. He has 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 no advice. So, he has no advice. So, chicken in also eating uh, calm English brown. Uh, I understand uh, Moses Jackson and the guide got that. Uh, I have a dad, I have a dad, and so so they've saved the team for long. So those are two players uh, that I understand the chicken in a bad list. So it has been a busy window. So wait to see when the season does kickstart. We would a very poor and I'm a baby. So setting out what and what and what. So this has been the first episode of the Scalo podcast. Scalo is a medium. Scalo podcast. That is brought to you by Scalo Pictures in partnership with SGM by Kero. I'm sure we are kind of love. So you can visit at, visit us at uh, suit number four, stand there house. Between 8th and 9th Avenue, George's Lundiga Street, next to Green's. Office number four. That's where Scalo is located for all your photo shoots. Just in general, documentaries, etc. etc. Then SM by Kero for all your makeup weaves and uh, all your own challenge. You can just add us visitors. I'm a teacher's uncle. I'm a teacher's uncle. So from me, Washington Spanda, aka Umar Rasta, and the crew that is behind the scenes, move on. I just want to get a city. Peace.